Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today, more boggles. And here he is in the stupid island floating village. It's, it's pointless. Why are we here? It's dumb. We should have taken it. We should have just raised it to the ground and wandered off. But hey, we'll get a turn of replenishment, so I guess it was all worth it. We're gonna we're gonna destroy all this. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna abandon the settlement. It's gonna be great. I know, change my tune. It's great, isn't it? We've got floating village. Uh, story hold fast. We are gonna try and give him some more long beards. Or do we just give him some more dwarf warriors, just so he has some numbers? Uh, he could do some quarrelers, to be honest. Let's give him some quarrelers. You know, for quarrelling. Uh, in fact, just give him like six quarrelers, I think would be perfect. Have a wide front line, loads of archer fire that can, you know, plink away at anything scary. Uh, honestly, ranged units really make up for the fact that you don't have, like, dedicated decent stuff. Because they can target anywhere within range. So that means you can just have, like, seven units all focus on the one scary thing. And that scary thing melts. So, like, ranged units, really, really handy. In uh, in place of having, like, a dedicated, you know, sort of anti-large cavalry unit or something. It's like, it doesn't matter. Just shoot it. It'll die. Shoot stuff, it dies. It's all good. It's all good. Um, right. But look at you. Look at you, Ungrim. With all your armies. Look at you with all your slayers. He's actually got quite a lot of slayers. A lot of cannons. And a lot of other nonsense. But, like... Yeah, look at this. This is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. These are some fun armies. These all feel fairly Slayer themed, which I really like. I don't know if they've changed his uh, personality to do that, or this is just the sort of things that seem to be getting recruited a lot by all dwarves now, and I'm just not really noticing. I mean, he doesn't have any of those buildings, clearly. But, yeah, fun. I like it. I like it. And his name's Drong, like Long Drong. You know, the Slayer Pirate guy. Okay, what are we doing? We're loitering, I think is the plan, right? Loitering. We're loitering, we're going to end the turn, we're going to build a Deeps under Mount Gunbad, because that's going to earn us a billion monies. I don't really know what we use as currency. Something. Surely. Uh, Deeps upgrade available, huh? Uh, oh, it only costs Earth Gold, so just more money. Yeah, sure. I'll take the more money option. Sounds great. Do not sully my presence any longer than you must. Etc. Mate, come on. Oh, military access. I mean, I don't know why. Do you want to just like trade? Do you want to trade instead? There we go. That'll be nice. Yeah, I'll be friends with him. I mean, are there any are there any grudges against Tomb Kings? I don't know. They keep to their, their, they kind of keep to themselves, right? So, although the old mining expedition, you know, and they are just gross deadens, so there is that too. All right, so there's also this guy, Valaya Sorrow. Gonna be very sorrowful indeed. Uh, Karakay pigs though should be fine. I don't see Karakay pigs having a problem against this. Like most of these guys, are just gonna get. Um, Get killed a bit, so it'll be fine. Right, uh... Great weapon infantry. Now get plus four melee attack. It's a Darwi's solemn obligation to protect the deeps of their Galax. Unusual location in Crookback Mountain. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad we didn't lose this. I, I love this new mechanic. It is really fun. It just adds so much variety to the game. and so much like potential for storytelling and just... Cool stuff. An unusual site has been discovered near one of your settlements, warranting an investigation to determine its potential benefit. As with any unexpected presence on your land, you have the option to remove it, though at a cost. However, if deemed valuable or of interest, this place can be left undisturbed. Assessing its worth is essential in deciding your next course of action. So what do we get? It is a witch hunter outpost. Okay. Uh... All our region own as armies. So all the armies of us, all our armies, I, it's weird that it says all region owner armies. That feels a bit strange. It should just, shouldn't it just say all armies? Like, obviously it's for... Anyway, whatever. Uh, we're gonna get uh, extra missile strength against undead and demonic factions, which is really cool. That was corruption for some control in the province. This is where the witch hunters are base and the stakes are kept. Short ones to extinguish the unliving, long ones to punish uh, by burning those citizens who've turned to the dark arts. Well, good. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's really fun. 
I mean, 10% extra missile strength is no joke. So, um, happy days. Happy days. Uh, should we start getting some long beards here, maybe? Some more iron? Something. The deeps, perhaps? Boop. Nice. Nice. I like it. Uh, and we can get a bigger gold mine. So that's an extra, what, 200? <laughs> extra 200. Which will actually be an extra, like, 500. Like, an extra 500. When we have the, you know, the little doobly, doobly doo. You know, this thing. And can't wait. Well, like 560 or something. Vlad's roaming about. He's almost dead. He's almost lost everything. Uh, so this is doing nothing, right? That's absolute trash. So should I just take Eschid as well? Should I just keep conquering? I mean, could Vlad take that? He could. He could. I reckon. Because that's, that's Vlad, you know? Though, I could hand this over to um, Carl Franz now. Potentially. Uh, could you take this? He could probably take Kallic Dromar. Let's sell it. Come, come, kid. No. Let us feast I'm not going to confederate drink. with you. I'm going to keep feeding you settlements, mate. And yes, that's taken our... Um, taking our income down another step. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not fine. It's a lot of money. But it's fine because we're about to get our gun bad built. All right. And so, yeah, he's a problem. He's a problem. And we have uh, Hergar Hasselfriesen back. Does Story need to head over here to deal with him? Because that's infuriating if that's the case. I agree. I agree. Infuriating. Alright, just start legging it. You'll get enough replenishment on the way. It's fine. Now, do I like block the army or something? And I try to assassinate or assault units. Feels a bit pointless. Um, Alright, Story, my lad. Me boy. Let's get you some more of them. All right, you can join. And, uh, yeah, that'll be enough stuff, hopefully. That'll do. Uh, but, yeah, he's going to take Valea Sorrow. Which is very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Now, this guy. I don't like our odds with this. I don't like our odds. All the stuff is pretty good at dealing. A lot of knob plows, though. Uh, we definitely won't be able to get Iron Rock. Like, with the garrison and everything. But we are in a position to just, like, recruit a bunch of stuff here, and then attack them. So... <laughs> do I do that? Get Ulthar's Raiders as well? That would be handy. Alright, you know what? Oh, this is... Mm, ballsy. It's pretty ballsy. I mean, we got some iron guts, but like we got cannons, right? So there are certain units that we can just we can just focus down. We can just focus on them. But I mean, this isn't much extra. But ogre balls can be a bit frightening. So I don't know. I don't know. Do I go for it? I could besiege and then have this guy underway stance over, and he could join the battle. Oh, you can't even reach. You can't even reach. Christ. All right, fine. Let's just um, let's move you a little closer then, I suppose. Yeah, if he attacked, we don't get reinforcements. So okay, that's fine, maybe. I guess. How strange. Well, that's a nuisance. All right, how are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So I can't afford units here. Uh, we need more money. We need more money. I should stop selling all of my territory, really, shouldn't I? I'm not gonna, but, you know, I should. Um, this guy will soon be free to... I guess to travel down to Akendorf, right? He could liberate Barakbar. That would be pretty cool. And in fact, I could just attack Vlad. I could literally just attack Vlad. I can reach him, and he can't. He can't move. So yeah, we'll sell Castle Drakenhof to the Empire, and uh, hopefully, he should be able to finish off. Yeah, he should be able to finish off um, von Karstein's for me. 
You want to give me some money. They're willing... Carl Franz is willing to become my vassal. That's sort of ridiculous, but I also kind of want to say yes. <laughs> no, we're allies. But also, I want him to be my vassal. I'm like, would you like this castle? Yes, I will do anything. Anything. Um, Carl. Hang on, he is just called Carl. Doesn't that usually say Carl Franz? Like, this isn't a bit. This isn't something I've set up, guys. I did say, I'm going to call you Carl. And now his name is Carl? Have I spent so much time with Total War that it's, be it's become sentient? And it's just trying to, it's just trying to please me now. Um, so you see, what the hell? Is it, it's not supposed to be, just be called Carl. And he's not supposed to want to become a vassal of the dwarfs. So that makes no sense. I'm going to become a military ally with him, alright? And yeah, I guess that's all the money he can give me. He really likes Castle Drakenhof. That's all I can... That's all I can say. Um, weird, he wants to be a vassal of mine. But no, he shouldn't be paying me anything. No, we're, we're allies. Alright, we're allies. Don't be ridiculous, Carl. It's so sweet that let's be call him Carl, though. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Like, that's supposed to say Carl Franz. It's not supposed to just say his first name. That's not how this works. So, so weird. Greetings on All right, let's trade with more just random Fine. humans, shall we? Welcome, ancient uh, era. No, they don't want to trade. Oh, they might actually. Approach they might. Make your offer. But I make let's give them a smidge, a little, little taste. I will listen. All right, no one else. Uh, quick deal. Uh, okay, a couple of non-aggression packs potentially. Oh, Malachi may wish to trade. On, nah, not now. enough. Not enough, apparently. And he doesn't like me much. Why don't he like me? They don't like that I trespassed against the ice court. I teleported for a quest battle. It's very annoying that that counts. I don't know why you have to teleport to a quest battle. I don't know why you can't just load a quest battle. It's very odd. But, whatever. Um, so that's all done. Girl has a Kadak. I mean, we've got a load of cash again. Right, we've got a load of cash. But that's supposed to be recruitment. So let's do some more recruitment. So let's get you some more ranged units too. Um, and I have an itchy nose. It's the worst thing in the world. Alright. Kanakaz gal, I think we're going to want the deeps on as well. Because this is going to start earning a lot of money pretty soon. You know. But for now, let's just get Story down to Misty Mountain. And the Desolation into Cash. And that should be the end of Queek. Uh, yeah, over here we're just going to sit tight, I think. Uh, Mount Gunbad. We are getting that built. And yeah, Kazador Groby Nutter. His work here is done. He's liberated Zafar. Destroyed the undead menace that threatened him. Well, mostly. 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 Uh, and oh, there's another army down here. Work to which, okay, there's a bunch Imperial of very scholar. powerful armies headed towards him. Oh, Knights of the Black Rose. That's fun. Yeah, just, yeah, they're done. They're done. They're so done. Um, but yeah, we're going to head to Akendorf and we're going to start destroying this stuff. We're going to bring back Barak Far. I've got to say, like, I feel like Kazdor Groby Nutter is just the ultimate liberator, isn't he? Although I guess he didn't get Karak 8 peaks, though, did he? So he's not quite Thorgrim. You know? And it is a competition. It absolutely is a competition. I spent all the money again. Never mind. Uh, Dalads of Burden. Oh yeah, you have your hammers now. No wonder my income went down very quickly all of a sudden. He's got a thousand quids worth of hammerers in his army. And I don't even need him anymore, really. I don't even really need him. So I guess you just move a bit, and, um, and look at that. Rank 7? Gorgeous. Right, we are going to get Kazador over here, and I think I'm going to swap these dwarf warriors for hammerers. That sounds good. That sounds good. So they're going to meet each other. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. Oh boy. Moving on. Uh, close victory. Medium casualties. We could just auto-resolve this, but that'd be boring. It's our first time fighting the Disciples of the Moor. And, you know, I want to know about this... Mouth Messiah. <laughs> Alright, let's fight him. This Diet Deity. This 
<laughs> this gob god. Man, we should be playing ogres. Alright, let's just move you here. Because, yeah, it wasn't liking me positioning like that. Uh, let's put you guys in the middle. I'm actually going to put the cannons on the outside. So that way... These guys can both reach, like, anything on either side, and so can the cannons. And, yeah, I guess Slayers being on that side makes the most sense. But, uh, got the long beards on that side. With great weapons. Uh, Ulthar's Raiders should probably take a step back. Because I'm going to need them to be a bit particular with who they're going to target, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. And I want them in the middle, so they can choose a target properly. And yeah, this is good. This is good. There's all this stuff here. Hopefully, we can deal with, yeah, like these ogre bulls and things. While they're repositioning, and iron guts are on the side. Perfect. Okay, we should be able to absolutely some more iron guts there too. All right, let's have you guys aim for those iron guts, and you aim for those. <laughs> this is all a little sketch for like this, <laughs> this group, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, yeah, we're getting some good damage in these. Got some missile resist, extra armor. Clever, clever. Yeah, we're doing a bunch of damage to these ogre balls by accident, which is nice. And these ogre balls. So yeah, big fan of that. And those iron guts are taking a beating. Which is good. Alright, let's get some nice raking fire, shall we? Some noblars. But, you know, who cares about them, right? Ooh, this is a <laughs> little, little sketch. <laughs> little sketchy, huh? Ooh, get me with the spells as well now. Cheeky little mare. Alright, uh, those noblars almost had it, which is great to see. Let's handle them. And now, let's attack him. Alright, uh, those iron guts. They're still going. Which is a shame. But, like, these guys have almost had it. Oh, it's the iron guts that we want to get rid of here. Not a problem, this. Crushing it. Although, look at all this other stuff back here. Scary. Alright, the gorges could be a problem. Ooh, and those iron guts too. Uh, uh, those iron guts need a little dead. So yeah, let's go for these iron guts. Just all start shooting this way. I think these guys are fine where they are, to be honest. Yeah, things are going real, real iffy over here, that's for sure. Uh, no, not Noblars. It's a bit silly. Uh, the gorges are getting absolutely wrecked. Yeah, let's go for them. Let's go for them. And you can start shooting at him. Oh. Those ogre bulls have had a bit of a... Ooh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, team. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is a little sketchy. But, these... Oh, hi. Hi, fellas. Oh, dear. You almost run out of ammo. Wow. You're not, not shooting him? Thought you were. Gorge is nearly dead, though. Um, have you lot shoot at something? Yeah, that's going great. Let's shoot over here. Alright, you get stuck in, will you? Give some extra armor. Maybe? God, I have no idea. Let's just get him better at fighting in the, the cruise, too. Are you not killing him? Yeah, there we go. Some big damage. This is all... 
doing okay. Yeah, I think we got him. Some stuff coming back. Which is a little scary. But. Let's try and finish off those iron guts, shall we? In fact, do you want to shoot those gorges? That'd be great if we could do that. Alright, let's just all get stuck in over here. Pull the miners back. Oh, more ogre bulls coming. But if we kill them, I'd really appreciate that. And, oh, you're done, are you? Uh, oh, there's some saber tusk packs here that are shattered. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're all fine. Good. Who's still going? Oh, the gorges, of course. Of course it's the gorges. And yeah, we're not gaining on them. Uh, Grudge Sattler survived. Well, not Grudge Sattlers, the, the Slayers, you know, but the Grudge Sattler Slayers. Alright, they've almost got that. Let's try and wipe out those Iron Guts before they leave. Oh, and them. Just want to make sure their best units are wiped out, really, you know? Oh, we've got another. Might not be enough to wipe the unit out, though. Shame. Uh, unit over here, though. We have a couple of Iron Guts. Trees might get in the way at this point. One more volley. Ah, that's it. Close victory. Okay. Scarecrow banner. Fine. Uh, let's go with replenishment because we're going to want to keep some momentum with that army. Uh, oh, they just made a camp by Valeo Sorrow and they didn't attack it. They head north then. Maybe. Maybe they saw us headed for them by uh, Iron Rock. So they moved up with them as well. We'll have to see. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh boy. They've been busy. Also, Scrag is over here too. Flippin' heck. Uh, oh, and yeah, Elspeth is on the case as well now. Yeah, I don't see them having any problems. Look at all this. Beautiful. Oh my god, Carl. What are you doing, mate? Carl. Is his name still Carl? Nope, Emperor Carl Friends. Why did it just say Carl? It's like. Was it was it because he was like, I'll be a vassal? What, you, the Emperor? Just call me Carl, okay? To you, I'm I'm just Carl. Weird guy. Uh let's hop over here. We'll hop over to Scrag in a second. You, I guess, just hang out over here. And uh you've had some alright replenishment, but um I don't think we're gonna be able to attack like another army and then have all of that too, and he's nearby as well. Um, a little concerned for Black Crag, but I think we'll be okay. Just because they're not great in a siege, really. Like, they can eat through walls, so... There is that. Alright, you need to start moving up that way. Uh, Karakaz Gal, we're going to have to start building more protections on it. I think we are keeping it now. It seems... It seems we're keeping it. Uh, this is a bit of a problem. We might get ambushed, which would be really annoying. Like, the worst. And it would completely destroy this whole, you know, conquest we've got going on. But, you know. Something. Do you? Do you, do you know something? Uh, Crookback Mountain was doing amazingly. And now it's about to get attacked by a bunch of things. I hate when it's attacked by things. Physical resist, campaign line aside. Could go with you, so you could just buff everybody. Uh, spell resistance for the army is nice. Um, could just go with runes. Rune of slowness would be quite nice. Damping lower the enemy's magic, which might be nice. Let's go with rune of wrath and ruin. Oh, the steel. I don't know how useful that's going to be. But yeah, Rune of Slowness, I think it'd be good. Let's go damping. Alright, is there anything? I can get Long Drong Slayer Pirates. I can't afford the Brotherhood of Grimnir. Unless I do something. 
Uh, Karakas, gal, you don't need defending. Don't be silly. You need defending. Oh, I know, we have an army here too, but you can't do anything about it. Oh, they've got a bull centaur, Torak, as well. A Lamassu and a Great Taurus. Loads of Infernal Guard, Blood to Bust. I mean, alright, a lot of goblins, though. A lot of goblins, like goblin labourers. It might not be so bad. This might be easier than the last battle. And we have got our replenishment sorted. We have been replenished. So I guess there's that too. Ugh. I want that back. Alright, fine. You can build that, I suppose. Oh boy. God, I really want to get rid of Queek so I can have, like, a couple of these armies just, like, head up and start helping in places. That would be great. It's interesting that we are actually under attack in a bunch of different directions, though. I'm really enjoying it. It's a really nice change of pace. Uh, this is a problem, though. This is a bit of a problem. So we got all this going on. Do I want to add to the damage of my cannons? Is that a priority? It could be. I kind of need to just, like, bullseye enemy units and kill them. You know? I mean, an extra... 8% isn't actually that big. The extra ammo is nice, but I feel like things will be resolved before then. So I think we want to get the Rune of Speed. If we have the Rune of Slowness on the enemy, that could be really powerful for us. Just stop them from getting their charges in. Uh, they're replenishing quite quickly, and there's so many stacks here. It's kind of ridiculous. I think I need to take a step back. Uh, we could even try and ambush, but then I think all of these guys will just rush towards Black Crag, and that could be really devastating. Uh, although I'm not sure anyone can reach it yet, but I have no cash for replenishment left. Not replenishment, for recruitment. Now I do. Oh my god, our income is being devastated. An old crap, I can build here. You also have Oath Gold. Okay, that... That's frustrating. I really wanted to build that building that I want to build. But sure, sure. For the wisdom of the it means I can guilt-free build some more things. Uh, there we go. There we go. That'll help. We just need we just need Thorgrim up here so we can just devastate these guys. That's what we need. But yeah, let's try and... Okay, so one thing we could do, which would be a bit of a sneaky... Sneaky little trick. Right. Is I reckon I can fight any of these guys on my own. You know, with, with Enlag, I reckon this army can take on any of them. I reckon he can take on any of these armies. Even this one with all the Iron Guts. But they might think they can win. In which case, if I use Tunneling Stars, I might get intercepted. And if I get intercepted, then I can wipe out that army. You know? I've got to take on an enemy army. I'll cast the runes. So is that something I want to do? Let's do it. Alright, there was nothing. But I can still hop back if I need to. So that's good. And yeah, it keeps him out of, uh, out of harm's way. Valaya Sorrow isn't really out of harm's way though. And in fact, do I need to... I don't need to be in that stance at all. I'm in friendly territory now, so I'm just I'm just replenishing a bunch. We're fine. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I can reach Misty Mountain next turn, and it'll just be the Desolation of Nagash left. And that'll be it for Queek. And that is a big deal. That is a big, big deal. Provided this can handle it, but I'm pretty sure Queek has lost most of his recruitment. Um, facilities, thanks to us taking Karakas Gal. I am sort of guessing, though. He may have other things there. So he might be in a bit of bother, you know? Might be in a spot of bother. Because I'm not sure the Goblobs will be as good for dealing with, like, their artillery as the cannons are. God, I hope this can win. It's, I'm worried about them joining as well, so we have to deal with, like, the extra bull centaurs as well as everything here. Because, yeah, the Lamassu and the Great Taurus, they're going to do a bunch of damage, especially the Taurus. Well, actually, the Lamassu does have, like, the spells, which could be a big problem for us. Um, but it's the Taurus has the big armor piercing. So, you know. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Can I give you some runes or something? Here, have some armor. And, uh, command's stupid. I don't even want it. 
All right, Rune of Fear will lower their leadership by three. Perfect. That's spot on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Scarecrow banner might be nice, though. Might help a smidge. Um, I forget what you have nearby. I'll just give you some things. Have a bride. Just, you know, have some have some brides. That's subterranean battles. That seems a bit pointless. That's attrition when under siege is nice. And um, have a stonemason as well, I guess. Sure. Obsidian lodestone. They have more spell resist. All right. There we go. He's perfect now. Christ. Uh, we can do that with just oath gold. So we might as well. Gives us a garrison of hammerers. You know, anytime we get an extra option to get, you know, our garrison to go up for just a, a resource that we have in abundance. Yeah, I'm going to do it. God, I don't want to hit end turn, you know. I've done it, though. I've done it now. There's no going back. And they're attacking. Close victory, low casualties. And everyone's attacking. Oh, well, in that case, I'll just kill them all. That's fine. Yeah, replenishment, please. Alright, well, that was nice. Maybe we don't need this guy. Okay, got the Koopa. And hello there. Hello, old Chewbones. Two bones, but nom noms. Uh, he's going to get Karak drawn, isn't he? Because I can't quite jump over him, which is frustrating. Ugh, could I fight that? And also that? Maybe. Maybe. Let's find out. Let's find out. They're almost certainly going to try. Uh, I could also hop him over. I don't think he could defeat that. I think Black Crag could fight them off. So I think I could actually have him jump over. The problem is, if he gets intercepted, he's definitely dead. So I can't really risk it. Alright. Hopefully. Next turn, Thorgrim can get rid of this camp. And then just chew through all of this, you know? Oh. And... Scrag has moved away. So who's he at war with? It's just it's just dwarves in the Exiles Court. Right. Be nice if he's at war with someone else. Like maybe some other dwarves. That'd be cool. Although I was going to see if they would join the fight by giving them Affendor. Which I think is still on the cards. Yeah, I think we can take Akendorf. I think that's the plan. Alright, the, the Ogres, yes, they have like an insane amount of stuff nearby. I think they've sort of had it though. I don't see them really accomplishing anything from here. Reichland in Karakay Peaks. Interesting. Interesting. That's nice, actually. We'll have more, you know, have more of a garrison in Karakay Peaks. Which is interesting. Um, story. Let's see if we can't finish these guys off. Okay, okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Time for a reckoning. That gives us a chance to empower the guilds. Let's build that. Uh, I don't know where the enemies are <laughs> over here, which is a little scary. And I can't quite reach that because I never got Root Marcher, which I guess I have now, but what good is that going to do? It doesn't do it retroactively. Do I want to hop him over? Uh, no, I don't really. I don't. I think we get rid of him. I don't think we need him. I don't think we need him. We got Morik. We got Morik Asgal. What more could we want? A million miners. Is that really all we can afford? Yeah. Not even a million. We can't really afford many. Uh, you just sit tight, I suppose. Although it does seem like they're only going for Crookback Mountain right now. Maybe just send Morik over there. We have much better recruitment over there. So, alright, I'll take him a turn. A couple turns. Ugh. If I try and sprint there, he's probably going to get caught out, isn't he? Well, that's a problem. Um, if I move here, I think I can hop to there next turn. I'm just going to risk it. There might be stuff nearby, but I think they fled. I'm just going to assume that that's the case. Which, you know, is probably... Probably reliable, assuming stuff. Assuming stuff is always reliable. 
Uh, you can actually build that thing now. We need the money for that. Not that one. This one? No. Hang on. This one. No. It was this one. Yes, that one. Certain game. No. It is that one. Okay, it's just not at level one it does that. Okay, cool. We need we need three grand and then another five grand in three turns. And that'll give us the, the big bonuses. Cool. Okay. Okay, we need a bit of cash. Anyone want to make a deal? Oh, hello. Hello, In mate. Do you want to give me loads of money? He kind of does. Well, thanks, Thoric. All right, we can give Thoric a bunch of this territory, maybe. That's nice. And Isaac Calador wanted to make some deals. Oh, dear. <laughs> no thanks. Peace treaty? Sylvania really wants peace. At this point, do I just say yes to a peace treaty, knowing that the Empire have almost certainly got this? If they don't, I'm going to be so livid. He's going to give me 5k. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. If he steps out of line again, though, I'm wiping him out. That simple. Alright, if he steps out of line again, he'll be... He'll be regretting it. He'll be regretting it. Uh, so yeah, it's this one. Yeah. Cool. And I can upgrade this as well, which... Gives us a decree. Um, okay, we already have all that stuff built. We don't have an income building, so let's build that. And let's build up the walls there too. You know what? We don't need the walls. We don't need the walls there. There's so many other things we need in so many other places. Mount Silverspear I could start trying to upgrade. Maybe we just need more trade goods, though. Because our income is a bit spotty at best. Um. Alright, let's level up story. And our random thanes. Alright, foe seeker sounds great. Do you want to seek some foes too? Sure does. Perfect. And yeah, Thorgrim is on the case. He can he can start just pushing through all this stuff. Um, and in fact, it's so odd that they came from here. I think they they actually came over from like Myrmidons, you know. I think they actually came from over here, from Granty Mingle maybe. Or, like they trespassed a bunch. But uh, I know they seem pretty pretty happy with each other. It's strange. It's so odd the way we have these wars here because currently. Uh, Belagar isn't at war with the ogres, but he's trespassing through ogre territory to get over here to fight Wurzag. And the ogres have to trespass Wurzag to get to us. So, like, there's all this weird overlapping of just trespassing on each other's territory, and they're all fine with it. Do, does the AI not care about trespasses from the AI? Is that a thing? Because that might be a thing. I, I, I actually have no idea. It's not something I've ever bothered to pay attention to. And yeah. DJ Dalad is over here. <laughs> Dalad Zufbarden. Presumably from the newly liberated Zufbar. Um, Yeah, you, you guys are going to meet up soon. But first we're going to get Akendorf. Alright, let's move on. And Scrag has decided to attack Kazador Grobinutter, which was a really dumb thing to do. Though he does have a bunch of ogreable iron fists, which... Um, just gonna get short, aren't they? Uh, we'll start with the iron guts. The iron guts hit so hard. In mean, a hundred weapon strength with the anti armor and bonus versus infantry. You know, it's scary stuff. But, um, yeah, we'll just kill him. It'll be fine. Uh, we might have to just focus our cannons on Scrag, though. He's quite a big target, which is nice. I say our cannons. We don't have any. We don't have any. We do have a bunch of goblin hewers, though, so if he gets close, oh boy. Oh boy, he's gonna have a bad day. So yeah, we can't focus on the Iron Guts with cannons. We might need these on Iron Guts. And I don't know really what Skyhammer Squadron's going to do. I guess I could have that shoot at Scrag. Because they do have some range, but not really. Alright, well, we can we can fit this battle into this episode, probably. Maybe. Although I have gone way over time so many times. I think it'd be nice to start a new episode with uh, fighting Scrag for the first time. that would be a big, you know, big old battle. Hopefully... Slightly memorable. I mean, it's against a legendary lord, right? Yeah, I'm gonna fight this next turn, then we can take Akendorf. It'll be great. Guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.
John! <laughs>